and welcome to another episode of History with Andy Eckright. I'm Andy Eckright. That train was important. Why? We'll find out in just a second. I am in Olathe, Kansas. It's the county seat of Johnson County. That's the county courthouse. City Hall is right back there. That's the adult detention center. Old courthouse used to be right there. Nice green lawn right there. And some markers depicting the historic events that happened here. But one of them happened right over here and it involved a train. Yes, it was FDR on a whistle stop tour. What's a whistle stop tour? Well, before they had TVs and everything, the whistle stop tours would be trains, people going around on trains talking to people. So it would, like a train, it would whistle and it would stop so they could talk to people. So right here in Olathe, October 13th, 1936, FDR, he's coming from the south, so he's coming this way. The train stops and he gets to the back. His sons help him up, help stand him up because people didn't know he had polio at that point. Um, and he talks to how many people? 10,000 people, 10,000 people. Why 10,000? Well, at 9.30 p.m. the day before, 9.30 p.m. Not until then did they know he was actually gonna stop. He was at a campaign stop in Colorado and they confirmed at 9.30, so they closed the schools, they closed businesses, so people could get out there. The Olathe News had a, had a whole special section about it, but we don't have any pictures of it. This is just a picture of what it might have looked like or would have looked like, right? So why did he stop here? Well, his rival was uh, Kansas Governor Alfred Landon and George Hodges, who is a former governor and a fellow Democrat, was from Olathe. So he said, hey man, Come on and stop here. Now this is 1936, so we got Great Depression. We're not in World War II yet, and people are excited to see FDR. They wanna say, you know, what are you doing for us? And FDR stops and says, this is why I stopped. I wanted to see we were doing in Washington, how it's affecting you. So FDR stops his whistle stop right here in Olathe, 1936. 10,000 people come out to see him, and he says, all the stuff we're doing in Washington, how's it affecting you? I want it to affect the everyday man. The people love it. FDR wins the election. So right here, right here, right by Kansas Avenue, just right down from the courthouse, FDR whistle stop tour. This has been another episode of History with Andy Eckerd. I'm Andy Eckerd. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.